Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You get, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, so you folks, I'm plenty of videos. Here's videos I've been doing for the while. I work over there, trap food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that the time I'm doing this, folks, I just keep finding new places to try subs. I was unaware of the the level of concentration of subs in my surrounding area, and, uh, well, that's going to come into play for this particular review. But that is indeed what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat some stuff. I'm going to talk about it whilst I'm doing so. I'm inside the truck today, and I'm wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? Boom, Yu Yu Hockey Show shirt from Walmart. <laughs> no idea why. No idea why. Um, I mean, Walmart carries some anime stuff, you know, but typically it's like the bigger name stuff, you know, that's more modern. You got your Naruto's, you know, maybe some One Piece, maybe some Demon Slayer, what have you. But then, like, I think two years ago, like, they randomly as fuck were just like, ah, it's a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt. And I love Yu Yu Hakusho. I had to go to a couple Walmarts to find it, but I finally found it. And I love this shirt. It's a good shirt. But anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? What are we doing here? Well, uh, I am going to be doing a review of a sub sandwich from a new place that I had not heard of before, but I have to preface this a little bit. So I've been going over there in the past like, couple months now, uh, and beyond that, but really the past couple months I've had just a little bit of a trend of just trying out sub places. Um, it really kind of started when I went to Jersey Mike's uh, for the first time, and that got a decent amount of response, and it prompted me to go over there and see, you know, what else was available. Since then, uh, I mean, Augustino's, Serino's, Firehouse, uh, Potbelly, d d uh, Subway, obviously. Um, just, I mean, basically, you know, all the sub places. I've hit pretty much all of the immediate chains, and now I'm just kind of hitting, like, random local delis that are around. I, in fact, have an entire playlist, folks, called Subs for Subs. It is just my sub sandwich eating adventures. But anyway, where am I trying subs from today, folks? Boom! It's a place called Rosalia's Deli. I've, I've never heard of it. Uh, which is a little bit surprising. Typically, I know a lot of the eateries in the area, but it's actually only, you know, maybe like a 10, 15 minute drive from where I'm at. So I saw it. I figured, what the fuck? Let's do a sandwich review. Specifically, boom, it's in a white bag. But we're going to open said white. Well, it's not a bag, but some white paper. Boom, it's an Italian sub, folks. Ah, Italian sub. Because, folks... If you watched any of my other reviews, you know that for me, I consider the Italian sub to be basically the staple sub of any solid Italian-style deli. It's self-explanatory, but we're going to go into it a little bit, because the Italian sub from Rosalia's Deli, and by the way, I'm definitely going to be going back there just to eat their food. I mean, provided that this is good. If it's terrible, then obviously not, but their menu looks fantastic, so I'm, I'm down with that. But yes, indeed, this is a 7-inch Italian, which is, it's got uh, Italian dressing, mortadella, salami, hot capicola, and provolone. Yeah, basically an Italian sub. There's also some lettuce and some tomatoes, maybe some peppers. I'm looking, looks like there's some peppers. One thing I will say that that's absent is, oh. Uh, Nope, I was going to say onions, but no, there are indeed some onions, but there are just very, very few of them. So, I will say, it doesn't look too bad, but it does seem a little bit lighter on the ingredients than some of the other places I've tried. So, but ultimately, folks, quality is what counts, so hopefully this will be good. Let's give it a shot. Ha. Oh. That's good. <laughs> oh, 
All right, good. I could have done with maybe a few more, you know, just bunch up the ingredients a little bit more, I'm just saying. But that is really good. So, here's the thing. I mentioned this a couple other sandwich reviews I've done where I've done Italian sandwiches. When you do an Italian sub right, all of the individual components come together to create what I describe as, quite frankly, just an Italian sub sandwich taste. And when you get that mixture right, it is one of the most glorious sandwiches you could possibly eat. Because everything is working together. You get the freshness of the um, freshness of the vegetables, you know, kind of going over there, sort of acting as a little bit of a, a freshness buffer, you know, from all the savoriness. You got the delicious breads and all the meats and cheeses, which are obviously the bigger highlights. But you get, like, just this ingredients thing so I don't pronounce shit wrong well I'm gonna pronounce shit wrong but um but no man you know you get that delicious salami taste that you know it's got this like wonderful just meaty saltiness but at the same time you've also got like you know the uh where's the thing the provolone you know which is it's a delicious cheese but it's it's kind of mellow but it's also strong at the same time and, like, all these things just come together. And, man, when you get it right, is it special. And that one, it got it right. Now, I'm not going to say it was perfect. Here's why. Number one, again, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with the overall ingredients. I think that they could have, and like I said, I'm not, it's not a huge gripe. I do think they could have, you know, just pumped it up a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, the other thing is they did use the Italian, uh, dressing, like this sort of olive oil vinegar thing, um, that you typically have on an Italian sandwich <clears throat> and it was really good. However, a little bit light on it, if I'm honest. And the thing is you have to be careful. If you do too much, it overwhelms the sandwich and you don't get to go over there and properly experience you know, the, the intricacies of the ingredients. If you go too light though, you don't get that kick. And that is a huge part of an Italian style sub for me. With this, they, they bordered, they came real close to the edge of being too light because it, you do still get the kick. It is still there, but it's, it, it like I said, it, it comes in a little bit later than I would normally expect. And in that regard, it's probably a little bit better that the ingredients are a little bit lighter, just because I think if it were a little bit more loaded up, it might have gone over there and somewhat diminished the ability of the Italian dressing to go over there and sort of play the role that it's, you know, so good at playing. But those are pretty minor grievances. Like, that's just a little bit of tweaking that could be done. And even as is, it's still really good. Like, this was a really good Italian sub. It tasted exactly how I wanted it to taste. Just, you know, again, maybe, you know, just a couple little tweaks. But that's a good sub. And that's that's genuine quality right there. And like I said, at the end of the day, regardless of, you know, how much shit they put in it, it has to be about the quality. It has to taste fresh. The bread has to be good. Because at the end of the day, if you got a shit sandwich, man, it's just not a good time. This is not that case. This, this is a proper Italian style deli sandwich and yes it is dripping dressing which almost defeats my what i just said about it but trust me it's a thing but yeah i mean i'm not gonna go over there if i'm going over there and i'm taking it you know putting it with the other ones it is you know it's a smaller deli it's not a chain or anything at least that i'm aware of 
So I'd have to compare it to something like Augustino's or something like uh, Serino's Deli. And for me, it fits perfectly in between those two. Because Augustino's, and they're all fine. They're all very solid. Augustino's, when I had their Italian sub, it was good, but I didn't feel like they really had the proportions correct. And that was actually an instance where the uh, the Italian dressing, it was just too much. It just it overpowered everything. Serino's would be on the exact opposite. Like, that was pretty much a perfect Italian sandwich for me. Like, I, I can't. I genuinely couldn't fault it. With this one, it's in between. I like it more than Augustino's. I like it a little bit less than Serino's. But, at the end of the day, any one of those, you're going to get a decent sandwich. It's just, like I said, and, and I think a lot of it just comes down to just tweaking, you know, how you combine the ingredients. And I do think that for, for Rosalia's, their Italian sub, I think they did a really good job with it. Just a little bit of tweaking would have made it perfect for me personally. But anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Mind you, mind rest months. Do better search here. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly Italian sub sandwich for the rest of your life. Because damn it, folks. Italian subs are just delicious. They're just, they're so good. How can you, you can't even, you can't even. So don't even try Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But. You do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world. Trust me, I know. Okay? This guy, he understands, man. I, I've had ups, I've had downs, and I think that's most people, if not everybody. I think everybody experiences, you know, some difficulties in their life. If they don't, I can't even imagine the type of person that would make. But when we do find ourselves in difficult situations, it's important that we go over there, take a step back, Try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and maybe you're going to watch this review of Rosalia's Deli that I have done here. And maybe you're going to be so impressed that you're going to go over there and you're going to be like, God dang it, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to make a trip all the way to Rosalia's Deli, even though I live in Ecuador. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of how that would happen, because I don't really travel. I, I'm pretty fortunate. Some people shit on Illinois, and I'm not saying unjustly. But, at least in terms of the things that I typically want out of a state, they're usually okay. Uh, okay being a uh, term. But, food is good. But anyway, you make the trek. It's a whole thing. You have a whole wonderful experience and the foods and then maybe you watch some of my other reviews you try out some of the other places that i've tried and hey who knows maybe you're like a big time ecuadorian investor maybe rosalia's deli becomes like this huge thing in ecuador because italian subs end up taking over ecuadorian cuisine over there for a while i've never had ecuadorian cuisine that i know of i'm sure it's wonderful but maybe an italian sub would compliment it i don't know or conversely uh maybe even if you are in ecuador Maybe go over there and just have some delicious Ecuadorian food. Or maybe if you just live in an area where you have an Ecuadorian uh, food establishment, go try some Ecuadorian food. Bye.